Hi. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like a really long time. I think this might be the longest I've ever not uploaded since I started YouTube. Like I'm pretty sure I've never gone over two weeks and it's been just over two weeks since I last uploaded. Um, and now there is thunder. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Was that a sign? Was that a sign from up there to be like, don't go back to YouTube? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, I'm back for now. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Let me know down below how you're doing because you know, it's been a while since we had a chat. Um, And yeah, I'm just gonna get on with the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So for today's video, I'm basically getting a random color generator to pick my entire look for the day. Let me show you the website. So this is the website and you basically keep pressing refresh and it will just keep giving you a different color every time. So I'm gonna get that to pick my makeup, which is gonna be an app absolute mess because I could get any colour for different steps of my makeup. I'm also getting it to pick my nail polish, I'm getting it to pick an outfit that I'm buying from ASOS and I'm also getting it to pick my hair colour because I've now got blonde bits as we all know. Blonde you can dye pretty much any colour and it should work so I'm gonna dye the blonde of my hair whatever colour the colour generator picks. <laughs> I mean, as of right now, I already know which colors got picked because I had to film those bits in advance so that I knew which products to order for the video, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm gonna now cut to a clip from a few days ago when I picked my, what did I do first? I think I did nail polish first. So I'm gonna cut to the clip. You can find out what color I'm gonna be painting my nails. So the first thing I'm gonna get it to pick is my nail polish color. I feel like with this one, I don't really mind what I get. I mean, I don't really want green because we all know green is just not my fave. Also, my nails are currently blue. So if I get blue, I don't have to repaint them. So that'll be great. But that's just me being lazy. I've got the little website up and I'm basically gonna press the refresh button and whatever comes up is the color I've got to use to paint my nails. Okay, one, two, three. Are you actually kidding me? Green is the one I probably wouldn't want. It's fucking green. <laughs> This website could completely savage me this entire video. Imagine if green comes up for everything. Green nails, green hair, green makeup, green clothes. I don't even have a green nail polish, so I'm gonna buy one. It's not too bad of a shade. It's kind of like a pale green. It's not too gross. Yeah, I'll try and find a nail polish in this shade and that is the color I'm gonna have. Yay. So this is the nail polish that I got. It's a Barry M Jelly High Shine nail paint. I think this one's in the shade Pistachio, which kind of makes sense, you know, it's that kind of color. I don't think it looks too bad. So I'm gonna paint my nails with this. Okay, well firstly, I've like missed half of my nails. I've not done the sides because I'm filming it and I'm trying to like get a good shot. I was more focused on the camera than actually my painting. So I need to definitely go over that and get the edges. I've not done a very good job. Right, I'm gonna sort my nails out. I'll be done in a sec. Right, I've painted my nails. It's actually grown on me. Like I don't hate it. I feel like out of all of the shades of green, this one isn't too bad. So I don't hate it. It's definitely something I would never normally go for. In fact, I feel like this might be the first time in my entire life I've ever had green nails um, but yeah I don't think it's too bad the next thing I need to do is dye my hair so I'm gonna cut to a clip from a few days ago again when I found out what color hair dye I needed to buy this is the scary one like I'm honestly a little bit nervous because whatever color comes up next is the color I'm gonna dye my hair not my entire hair because obviously part of it's brown but the blonde bits I'm gonna dye whatever color comes up I don't really know what I want for this I'm kind of nervous no matter what I don't want green I think we've established that I don't want green I feel like blue would look cool but it's quite hard to wash out so that makes me nervous purple I've done before pink I've done before so they're kind of boring I want it to be something different for the video but also something that's still gonna look good I am gonna get like a super temporary dye so whatever it is it will wash out hopefully um hopefully but yeah it's fine it's fine it's fine okay so I've got the website up again I'm gonna press the refresh button and that is the color I'm gonna do three two one okay I mean it's pink the pink's okay i guess for the sake of my hair this is good sake of the video and to me that's the most important this is kind of boring <laughs> i tell you what though it's quite a bright pink like that is a bright pink right then i need to now order some pink hair dye 
Um, so I'm gonna go and do that. So this is the hair dye that I went for. It's the L'Oreal Colorista Washout Hair Dye. Um, it says it washes out in two to three shampoos, so it's very temporary. And this one is in the shade Dirty Pink. I feel like the blonde in my hair is probably this kind of shade, or maybe like a mixture of these two, like in between the two. So I guess it could end up like those, which I don't think that looks too bad. That's a nice shade. Um, it's got like little examples here of what it might look like. Let me try and open this with one hand. So this is what the colour looks like. I feel like that is so spot on to the swatch on the colour generator. I know it's probably going to come out a lot lighter on my hair, but I feel like I've done pretty well there. Right then, let's dye my hair. Okay, so I've sectioned my hair. So I've got the brown on the top, the blonde on the bottom. This is the bit that I'm obviously going to be dyeing. I've got my gloves on. I've also squirted a load of the hair dye into this. It looks really bright. Like it looks like a really bright pink. But yeah, I'm just gonna start whacking this on. Also look how much my roots have already grown out. I'm pretty sure I got the blonde like two months ago maybe. And it's already grown out quite a lot. So I'm gonna need to get them sorted at some point. Okay, I'm just gonna do this with my hands. I find it so much easier than using the little brush thing. So I'm just gonna start running it through. I'm making a mess. I'm actually making such a mess. Okay, that's one side done. Now I've just gotta do the same again on the other side. I think it's going well so far. I think. Okay, I think it's all covered. I think I've got pretty much every bit of blonde hair. So I'm now gonna leave it for 15 minutes, I think it says. So you don't have to leave it for very long. I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and we'll see how it looks. So I've just rinsed the dye off. I feel like it's come out a lot brighter than I was expecting. I know my hair's wet right now and when your hair's wet, it tends to look a little bit darker, a little bit brighter, but yeah, it's very vibrant. I mean, to be honest, it is the color that it was in the tube, so I don't really know what I was expecting, but for some reason I was expecting it to look a little bit more pastel on my hair, um, and it looks really bright, but we'll see. I feel like when it's dry, it will look lighter, so I'm gonna go and dry it now. Okay, are you guys ready to see my hair? I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually know if I like it. In fact, I don't think I like it, but I think I will like it once it's washed out a little bit more. I'm just not sure of the shade of pink. I'm um, also, please excuse this bit. I haven't like styled my little fringy bits. I've just tucked them behind my ears. But yeah, let's, let's focus on the color. I'm gonna reveal it to you in three, two, one. What do you think? Let me know, please let me know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Be honest. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's also a tiny bit patchy. I feel like there are certain bits that are a bit darker than others. I don't know if that's shown on camera, but it's definitely not perfect, but it's not too bad. It's definitely not too bad. I definitely will like it more once it's sort of faded to more of a pastel pink. I'm filming this on Monday, so I reckon by like Thursday or Friday it'll be pastel. If you watch my streams, watch the Thursday stream if you want to see what it looks like as a pastel pink, because I reckon by then it will be. This is what it looks like right by the window in the natural light. I can't really complain. It doesn't look bad, and I could have got a color so much worse so i'm pretty lucky that i got pink and that is a color that i love like pink is my favorite color so yeah can't really complain next thing i need to do is my outfit so i'm gonna cut to a clip again from a few days ago when i made the order so now i'm gonna find out what colors my outfit needs to be i feel like this could end up being an absolute mess like i normally wear very sort of neutral colors as you can see got a bit of gray got a bit of black um but yeah i'm pretty plain with what i wear so this is probably gonna leave me looking like an absolute colorful mess because i don't know if the colors are going to match but yeah let's find out what color my bottoms need to be i think i'll probably go for trousers or maybe a skirt it kind of depends what they have i'm going to order everything off of asos got the little website up again i'm going to press the refresh button three two one yellow Okay, yellow, so some yellow trousers if they've got some or a yellow skirt or something like that, yellow shorts. Um, I'm now gonna go again for my top. I don't know, again, I might get a t-shirt, might get a jumper, I don't know. Three, two, one. I do not agree with this. No, I'm gonna look like a freaking sunflower if you turn me upside down. Okay, I was just gonna leave it there, but I think I might do some shoes. I wasn't gonna do shoes because I thought, well, surely they're not gonna have like colorful shoes on their website. Just had a look and they actually have shoes in most colors. I've got this little color selector up for the last time. Gonna press the refresh button. Oh goodness, I don't get that color. Um, I'm gonna press the refresh button. Three, two, one. 
We got purple. That's not too bad. Purple's okay. That's it then. I need to now go on ASOS and pick my little outfit. Uh, I'm gonna go on to trousers and leggings, I think. Let's see if they've got anything in yellow. Oh, okay. We've got 47 in yellow. Oh, I kind of also need petite if I want them to fit. So let's see if they've got anything in petite because I am short. I'm only what am I? I always forget. I think I'm five foot three, maybe five foot two. I'm not even sure. Oh my goodness. There's one thing in petite in yellow. Well, there we go. I guess that's what I've got to go for then. They're actually quite cute. We've got a pair of joggers. Like that's actually something I might wear. So yeah, I'm going to get these little joggers. Okay. I don't have my size in stock. We'll try a size eight. So for my top, I'm going to go on to tops. That would help. Filter, color, green there's 899 green tops let's have a look and see what we got mm. <sighs> okay i've forgotten what the shade of green was oh it was kind of like a light sort of limey green wasn't it i'm just gonna scroll through oh we got a little t-shirt <gasps> that's cute i mean that that one's potential i'm gonna add this to my basket it's very simple but i feel like it will go quite nice with the joggers but we're gonna keep scrolling there might be something else some of these tops are actually quite cute i take back the hatred for green tops they're actually quite cute to be fair i was wearing a green top yesterday <laughs> so <laughs> Do, do, do. Honestly, I'm thinking that little t-shirt is probably the one. And then finally, we've got the shoes. So I'm just going to go on to view all, filter, colour. And we got to do purple. Oh, there's 95 purple shoes. That's a good selection. Ooh, okay, that's 70 pounds. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts here. I'm just gonna keep scrolling and see what we've got. Oh my goodness, those boots, they're so cool. Okay, I've scrolled through everything. Most of them are lilac. They're not purple, it's all lilac. So I actually think these are the only ones that I can get. There's some little like woven flat sandals. What is my size? I barely ever buy shoes. I think I'm a four. These are the shoes I'm gonna have to get. They're the only ones that even slightly look like the swatch of purple. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna order this and that's what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> got my ASOS parcel, I'm gonna unbox it and see. Well, we know what we've got, but let's have a look. Ooh, I mean, yellow. Ooh, I mean, they're nice and fleecy inside. They feel really cozy, nice quality. I actually like these. I would never normally have gone for yellow, but it's actually a really nice shade and it's nice to have something a little bit different. I've got a lot of joggers, but I do not have yellow ones. So I actually quite like the look of these. It's so green. Oh my goodness. <gasps> It matches my nails so well. Like the shades are really similar. That makes me happy. No, I mean, it's cute. It is just a little green crop top, but you've got this little rocket embroidered onto it. Isn't that cute? And then finally, we have the shoes. These I'm probably not gonna like. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like them. I can't remember what they look like, but all I know is I wasn't a fan, but they were the only purple shoes because all the others were lilac. Um. Oh yeah, I do not like these. <laughs> I mean, there might be people watching who would absolutely love these, but they are just not a bit of me. Anyone who knows my style will know these are not a bit of me. I'm gonna go and try on the outfit, see you in a sec. So this is what the outfit looks like. It's kind of just a big mess of different colors. They all kind of clash. I mean, I feel like these aren't too bad together, but then you go down here and it's like, whoa, you do not belong. I just think the purple sandals kind of ruin it. But all in all, I feel like it could have been a lot worse. Um, I think the joggers are probably my favorite. I actually really like these joggers. Considering I had no say in the colors, I don't think it's too bad. Even Moon's not sure of it. The other day I found a file on my laptop and it was my old background music. Does anyone remember, I'm gonna play a little bit. Does anyone remember this background music from back in the day when I did like the test and makeup videos in like 2016, 2017? Who remembers this? I'm kind of tempted to use it in the makeup bit in this video just for old time's sake. I'm gonna do it. So I'm now gonna move on to the makeup section of the video. This has been done before. I need to work out who did it first, but quite a few people have done this makeup challenge before. I'm gonna leave the person who did it first linked in the description box. But yeah, I'm basically gonna use the random color generator to pick the colors of different things that I'm gonna put on my face. It's gonna look like a mess by the end of it, 
but that's the whole fun of it. So I've got the color generator website up again and I'm just gonna press the refresh button. You know the drill by now. Whatever comes up first is the color I've got to use. Oh wait, what am I doing first? Let's start with bronzer. Just a heads up, I ended up losing the screen recording of the color generator website. I actually have it on camera the moment that I realized. So you'll see later in the video, I was very upset. Uh, okay, no, I wasn't that upset, but I was a bit annoyed. Um, so for this bit, I've basically had to find a swatch of the internet that looks as similar as possible as to what I remember the thing looking like so that there's something on the screen for you guys to see. So yeah, that's why this bit is a little bit different to the rest of the video. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's green. It's very much green. More green. We've had that more than any color. What are the chances, eh? The color I like the least. Although, do I like it the least? I feel like this video has actually made me start to like green. Right then, let's do a little bit of green bronzer. I'm gonna take a brush, that's big, okay. I'm gonna have to use eyeshadow for this because I don't have a green bronzer, funnily enough. Um, okay, which color? I think I'm just gonna kind of take a mixture of a bunch of different greens and just see what happens. Well, that looks lovely. Little bit on the other side. Oh yeah, I mean... <laughs> I look like I'm turning into a reptile. Well, that's my bronzer done. I'm now gonna move on to blush. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got blue. <laughs> this is gonna be such a mess. It's quite a nice shade of blue, actually. Oh, actually, no, I lied, I don't like it. I feel like none of the blues are in that exact shade. So again, I'm probably just gonna mix some of these together, right? I'm just gonna start popping it on in the places that I do my blush, which is all across my face. You can see why I left the makeup till the end because I just knew it was gonna go horribly wrong and ruin everything. <laughs> the only question I have for myself is why did I feel the need to put so much on? If I'd gone like subtle, it might've actually not, no, it would've looked bad, whatever. But it wouldn't have looked so like, but it's because I was trying to replicate how I normally do my blush and I normally just go This looks really stupid. Okay, let's move on. I'm now gonna move on to highlighter. Three, two, one. I mean, that's not too bad. I got yellow, like a goldeny yellow color. I would say this gold shimmer looks pretty similar to that color. So I'm gonna take a bit of that. I mean, I don't know why I'm getting excited. It's not like it's gonna save anything right now. I already look ridiculous, but at least something's the sort of, sort of, sort of, I just glitched. Just put in a little bit of highlighter here. It's actually eyeshadow, but I feel like it might work. Boop, boop, boop. It actually looks quite pretty. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If you catch the light in the right way, it has made a bit of a glow. So I'd say that's worked. Do I put a bit on the end of my nose? I mean, sure. I'm now gonna move on to eyebrows. Three, two, one. <gasps> Purple, lovely. Oh, my eyebrows can match my shoes. Today is a great day. I have the exact shade of purple here. I feel like that one looks pretty much identical to that swatch. So I'm gonna take a bit of that and I'm gonna do my eyebrows with it. I feel like I've done a video before where I ended up with purple eyebrows. I can't remember what it was, but this has definitely happened before. I'm not even really trying with the shape. There's absolutely no point. It's gonna look ridiculous no matter what. Like this whole makeup look is just one big joke. <laughs> it reminds me of my old school videos though like I used to do so many challenges where I just look like an absolute tit like this I miss old YouTube I really do no one looks like a tit on here anymore <laughs> what well, I do now I'm now gonna move on to eyeshadow what's it gonna be three two one do you need to give me any more green? How has green come up more than any color in this whole video? My phone is really dark. At this point, I'm just offended. I think it's a personal attack from the website. There's been so much green, but luckily there is a green shade really similar to that one. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this here. I think I'll use that as like the matte shade through my crease and then I'll pick a different one for the shimmer on my lid. Let's see if I can at least make the eyeshadow look decent. I mean, this is me we're talking about. It's probably not gonna happen, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, I'm now gonna pick another color for my lid. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, like a lilac. I don't have a shimmery lilac. Kind of wanted it to be a shimmer on my lid, but I do have a matte lilac in that exact kind of shade. So I guess I'm gonna take that. Maybe I could mix it with like a bit of shimmer. I don't know. Yeah, this really doesn't look too great. And mixed in with the green, it's kind of looking a bit like Halloween. <laughs> like, mate, we are only in Ju July. 
June? July? Oh my goodness, we're in July, aren't we? Jeez. But still, we're only in July. <laughs> Not quite Halloween yet, but this is giving me Halloween vibes. Like, there's a lot of purple and green. I look like an absolute mess. Like, honestly absolute mess. I'm now going to pick another shade for my lower lash line just to mix it up even more. Please, no more purple and no more green. Give us something else. Three, two, one. Okay, so it's like a, a pink, like a peachy pink. I'd say it looks a little bit like this shade here, so I'm going to take a bit of that and pop it on my lower lash line. I mean, this is a very pretty colour. It just doesn't really go with everything else going on. There we go. Rate my eyeshadow look out of 10. If you pick anything higher than a three, you're lying. <laughs> I'm now gonna add some mascara. I can't really do like a colorful mascara thing. So I'm just gonna pop on normal mascara and then we'll find out my lip color. Wait, what? I could actually cry. Okay, so this entire time, right? I've been doing this. I've had my phone on screen record so that I'm screen recording the colors so I can put it on screen like I have been throughout the video. It just stopped. It just stopped screen recording. I thought, that's fine. It's probably saved it. It's not saved it. So I've just lost all of that screen recording. <sighs> anyway, let's find out what color I'm gonna be using for my lips. Three, two, one. Okay, we got a pink. We're finishing on a nice bit of pink. Okay, I've just done a little bit of lip liner and now I'm gonna put on a bit of this. I think that's kind of like a similar pinky color. Oh, it's very glossy. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was a liquid lipstick, like a matte one. I mean, it looks nice. I think it is a similar kind of color and it's about the only natural looking thing on my entire face. What an absolute mess, but what did you expect? Like if I'm picking random colors, it's gonna end up being a mess. Okay, so I'm back. I'm looking a little bit different now. I want to try again, but with a different idea that might actually make a makeup look that's actually wearable. Um, obviously that one looked completely ridiculous. It was an absolute mess. I'm still going to leave it in the video because obviously it was a bit fun, but I kind of want to end the video with an overall finished look that is actually something I might be able to wear. So I'm going to go again, but this time I've done all of my makeup and I'm just going to do the challenge with an eyeshadow look. I feel like eyeshadow is the one thing that you could make it work no matter what colors you get I, I say that I'm probably still gonna make it look bad but do you know what I mean it's not as ridiculous as having like a blue line across your face oh and maybe this time my phone will save the screen recording that would be nice that would be nice please do that here she is again I've got the website up for potentially the millionth time this week like honestly I think this is my most used website of the week um and I'm just gonna press the refresh button and whatever color I get will be my crease shade three two one Ooh, okay, we can work with this. This isn't too bad. It's kind of like a dark burnt orangey brown color, I'd say. I'd say it's pretty similar to this kind of orangey shade here. So I'm gonna start off with that. Okay, so the next color is gonna be my lid shade. Hopefully it's a color that I have a shimmer in or like a glitter in, because I feel like that'll look a little bit better. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, I can't escape you. Like, how has that come up so many times in this video? So much green. Okay, well, do I have a shimmery green? I'd say this shade is probably the most similar to the swatch. It's not exactly the same, but that's the closest. It's a matte. So I think I'm just gonna put this on for the color and then maybe add a bit of like a green shimmer on top. I've got this green shimmer here. It's definitely not the same kind of green, but I'm just gonna add a little bit to add a bit of shimmer. And then for my lower lash line, three, two, one. Oh, it's like a kind of pastel-y blue. Okay, it actually matches this color so much. I don't know if it's shown on camera. That is the exact kind of blue. I mean, I've got to use that, but then I've got to put a shimmer on my lower lash line. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. Yeah, I'm going to take a bit of this one. I think I'm going to use that for like the first half of my inner corner, and then I'm going to pick another color for the other bit. I know that's going to make it look like a mess, but whatever. <laughs> I think there's a reason people don't put shimmers in their lower lash line because half of that just went in my eyeball. I'm now gonna pick the final color for the rest of my lower lash line. Hopefully it's not something really crazy. Three, two, one. 
purple got a nice bit of purple and it is a bright one like that is it's almost like a pinky purple it's very bright i think this one is probably the closest i've got to that purple it's not exactly the same but i think it's close enough And I think that is my eyeshadow look done. I'm now just gonna add some mascara and then this will be my finished look. So this is my finished makeup look. Definitely looks a lot better than the one before, like a lot better. I know it wasn't as fun, but that's why I've done both of them. We've got the fun, stupid version and then the one that actually looks like a makeup look. So yeah, I think it turned out all right. I don't think the eyeshadow looks too bad. It's nothing amazing, but I don't think it looks too bad. I'm pretty happy with it. So this is my overall finished look. This is what happened when I let a random colour generator pick my whole look for the day. To be fair, now that I've redone the makeup, I don't think it's all too bad. I mean, there's a lot of colour going on. A little bit too much green for my liking but overall i don't think it's too bad i've still got my nice little outfit on got my little shoes down there um <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun filming this i think the outfit bit was the most fun to me so i might do a whole video where i pick some outfits using a random color generator i don't know if anyone wants to see that but i might do it let me know if you want to see it i hope you enjoyed the video i've already said that thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you very soon Goodbye.